Show of hands, how many of you vapers out there watching right now really enjoyed the Geek Vape Peerless RDA? I did. I tell you, that thing is a flipping beast. Still vape on it on a weekly basis. But let's just say you're looking for something like that in a tank version. Got good news for you. Geek Vapes come out with their newest tank, and it is a combination between the Peerless RDA and their newest tank, which is called the Peerless RDTA. What? Oh, yeah. So here's the packaging that Geek Vape sent me for their new Peerless RDTA. And of course, inside that packaging, you're gonna receive your Peerless RDTA. You get an extra glass tank, a ceramic slash silicone block for single coil mode. You get two pre-built spaced braided coils. And last but not least, you receive a baggie of extra goodies, a Buku O-rings, a tri-tool, two peak inserts for your fill port, some extra screws. And with mine, I received a stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter. Now onto the Peerless RDTA, primarily made of stainless steel. Seen a bunch of different color options. I'll post a picture right here so you can see, yeah, it's a bunch of different color options options but she's 24 millimeter in width and about 42 millimeter in length at the base she's got a majorly protruding gold plated 510 pin so you can easily use this sucker on your hybrid top cap devices she's got smooth 510 threads also at the base she says peerless rdta designed by geek vape at the top of this device it comes with an 810 delmer drip tip inside there embedded is a clearish o-ring everything about this device by the way is beautifully machined on the side you guys saw it, but it's peerless engraved and again this is straight out of the packaging guys clean 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 wouldn't expect anything less from geek bait but yeah this drip tip fits snug as a bug and in my opinion, looks the tits. And like I showed you before, mine came with this stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter. I've seen other ones come with a Delworth 510 drip tip adapter, which is kind of funny, but I guess they're gonna be including the stainless steel to use your 510 drip tips. But yeah, this sucker fits snug as a bug as well. And it does stick out a little bit. So it's not gonna be completely flush. So yeah, with this device, it's got dual direct adjustable airflow. You grab a hold of the ring and you twist and turn and whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the same on this side. You can close it off all the way. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do it if you want. You can open it up, open it up, open it up. Again, whatever you adjust is going to be the same all across the board. And it does spin in 360, so it does not stop in one direction or the other. And here's what it looks like inside the top cap. Now, there's no conical thing going on. And also, these two pieces, you got the barrel and then the actual top cap. They look like they're two pieces, but I cannot take it apart. I mean, I've tried pulling them apart and they just don't. Alrighty, so here is the deck section. Very, very, very similar to the Peerless RDA, except in my opinion, I think it's an upgrade because on the outside slots, they're risen. If you missed my Peerless RDA review, go check it out. I'll post a link down in the description. But with the Peerless RDA, the outside slots are a little bit lower. With this one, the outside slots are a little bit higher, which in my opinion, makes it a lot easier to pop your bigger size builds in there. But with this sucker, just like the Peerless RDA, you can pop any size build, pretty much any build. Nano builds, micro builds, macro builds, big old Clafton builds. It's got these big old hex screws in the center just like the peerless rda that pinned down at the top again if you missed my peerless video please watch it because it's pretty much the exact same thing hell it's a peerless rda with a tank underneath it you get the best of both worlds but yeah you could pop your small builds in here your medium sized builds here or you could utilize these outside slots and pop your big old builds and then if you look down here on the base of the deck section you got your wick ports and then you got a hole right here and that's for the air to escape so this thing wicks more efficiently. I mean, they thought about pretty much everything for this device. You also have your fill slot right here that pops open and you could fill her up and you got a hole next to that so it's easier to fill the sucker up. And this bad boy holds four mils of e-liquid. When you're done filling her up, you just close it off and you're good to go. And when I first saw this, I was like, man, with the fill slot, how the hell am I gonna fill this sucker up underneath the coil that's over here? But it's a lot easier than it looks. It's a cinch. But this bad boy comes apart. You got your Phillips that screw down here and that screws into the negative connection. Oh yeah, here's the positive connection, hence your peak insulator, your dual O-rings on the deck lip. But yeah, you could swap out the tank. So with this Mamma Jamma, you can run it in dual coil mode or single coil mode. Again, they include the ceramic slash silicone plug. Just plug up one side and then rock your single coil. And today with my Peerless RDA, I'm rocking just a medium sized fuse style Clapton build. Again, I'm utilizing these bottom slots in the middle. Get them glowing from the inside out. Oh yeah. Fluff that cotton out.
And I don't know if you guys can see that, but see how the cotton tails are just peaking. Barely peaking. That's the way I like it. Pull open the top fill lever. And this top fill works the best, in my opinion, with unicorn tips. You could pop your glass droppers in there. They fit actually perfect, but I just like my unicorn tips better. Close it off. Juice the coils up just a little bit. Pop the top cap back on there, and I'll line up my slots with the coils. Oh, yeah. And as you guys can see, it's hitting directly in front of each coil. It's hard to see it. Now, again, you could drop your coils. You could raise them up. You can make it to where the airflow hits the bottom half of the coil, the top half of the coil. It's all up to you. All this is subjective. First things first, vape quality. Got this tank sitting on the Karen TC218, my favorite mod to date. It hits like a truck full of freaking dildos. But yeah, the build that I've got in here, dual build reading at 0.1 ohms, vapor only at 65 watts. Got the airflow wide open. That is the perfect amount of airflow for this device to me. All this is going to be subjective. It's not too much airflow. It's the right amount of airflow. It's like almost restrictive, but not. It's like in between. Does that make sense? But yeah, wide open, 65 watts. You guys know the drill. Look at her go, look at her go. Flavor is on point. For an RDTA, okay, here's the deal. Loved the Avocado 24, but this is better. It obviously should be because it's newer, but it's better. I get better flavor off this, and it is way more versatile. Yeah, man, this is good. It's a good RTTA. It's definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner. How does it compare to the new Vandy Vape Pyro RDTA? They're totally different. Other than the fact they have tanks underneath them, the deck sections are totally different. It's a lot easier to build on the Vandy Vape Pyro RDTA, in my opinion. But as far as flavor, ooh, I think this one edges it just a little bit. It's all about what you're looking for, though. You want a postless deck or you want a peerless RDA type deck? So here she is with the airflow wide open. It is a little bit loud, but boy, is she smooth. It's a winner. So here's the airflow halfway open all across the board. Ooh, that's smooth too. Damn. Airflow a quarter of the way open. A little bit too tight, but it's smooth as a baby's bottom, smooth as a porn star's ass. Open it back up three quarters of the way. Actually, I like three quarters of the way open better than fully open. Let me tell you why I think this thing wicks so well. I haven't had any issues with wicking, by the way. It's definitely what they've done on the deck section and punching that one little hole. Allows for it to wick more efficiently, I'm telling you. Geek Vapes RDTAs in the past didn't have that little hole punched on the deck section. And because of that, the flavor off those devices, those past RDTAs, aren't even close to the flavor off this Mamma Jamma. So the first pro for this Chuckalucker is definitely going to be the vape quality. The airflow smooth all across the board. Love the fact that it comes with an 810 drip tip that you can use your 510 drip tips too because it comes with that stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter the build deck oh the build deck if you are a big fan of the peerless rda build deck you're gonna like this you can pop any build in here she'll take your nano build your micro build your macro build your big old alien builds anything now do i recommend this to a newbie builder no not at first go learn off of something like a velocity style deck the easier type of build decks then come to this but the veterans out there you're gonna enjoy this build deck the top fill lever at first i thought it was gonna be a pain because it's underneath that coil but it's a cinch you got plenty of room as you guys saw in the close-ups back to the vape quality i really want to emphasize on the flavor for an RDTA, the flavor, oh man. When I first got this, received this in the mail, I was like, man, this is going to be like every other RDTA. And then I popped the builds in there, I vaped on it, and I was like, holy mackerel. The fact that she is a 24 millimeter device, you guys know it, how I love my 24, 25 millimeter tanks. Looks the tits on this Karen TC218 too. Did you guys see how much the 510 connection pin protruded? Holy shnikes. It protruded like what? A mile? I'm kidding, not a mile, obviously, but I mean, it protruded forever. You could easily use this thing on your hybrid top cap devices. Oh yeah, wicking for this, a lot easier than I thought. Wicks like a champ. More pros for this device, you can not only run this thing in dual coil mode, but you can run it in single. Like you guys saw, they include that, that block, that ceramic slash silicone block. Now on to cons. This thing holds four mils of juice, and at first I was like, yeah, it's a good amount for an RDTA. She'll guzzle within like minutes. I'm serious. I chain baked on this thing for like 10 minutes, and it was gone. That four mils was sucked up. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is, this thing wicks like a champ. Bad thing, like I said, she guzzles. Okay, with the airflow wide open, the airflow hogs, I still don't think you're going to like it. Here it is wide open again. I mean, the airflow hogs want something that's super open, like you're almost breathing, right? Well, you're going to get restriction with this. So if you're an airflow hog looking for an RDTA, you might want to skip this one. This is for the nice, smooth, whooshy, whooshy, restricted type lung hitters. You dig? And then the last con that I found for this, and this is going to be subjective, the top cap and the barrel don't come apart. Price point, price point, price point. Okay, prices I'm seeing online, average price 35 to 37 bucks. I'll post links down in the description to the sites, the credible sites I know of that will be selling or are selling 
show in this mamma jamma. Now onto the big question, the big answer of the day. Which one of you vapors out there do I highly recommend this to? This is for the vapor looking for one, an RDTA. Two, a dual coil, preferably a dual coil RDTA. Dual coil mode is the way to go for this. Three, if you love the peerless RDA, but you're looking for something like the peerless in a tank mode, this is for you, man. And all the other stuff that I mentioned, the pros, if you're looking for all those pros out of an RDTA or out of a device, this is definitely who I highly recommend that to. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.